Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm gonna to be trying the Coco Kind Ceramide Recovery Balm. This product retails for $22. So this is the next launch from Coco Kind, which is kind of a redesign of their Ceramide Moisture Serum. I loved that product. I personally had a great experience with it. And they are launching this product as kind of like a partner product to that. It's basically a balm that you can use on any area that is dry. And so I will just be curious to see how this product performs. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlight ingredients in this product include ceramide, squalene, and oat kernel oil. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. The big thing that I'm looking for with this product is what kind of hydration does it deliver and also how does it leave my skin feeling. Obviously a hydration balm can be hit or miss because it can be a little bit too much. Usually if you are using a balm though you can kind of hyper focus it on different areas that are dry on your skin. For instance I'm very dry on my chin area. This may be a product that I use on that area to kind of calm down the irritation that I get from both shades and just how dry that area is. Another thing that I'll be looking for with this product is does it cause any acne? I didn't have any acne come up with a ceramide moisture serum, but this is a different product. And so I will just be wanting to see if this product does cause any acne. I always look for that with more hydrating products. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. Not gonna lie, when I received this product, I kind of thought that something was wrong with my product. It is a very granule product, if that makes sense. When I first used it, it almost felt like an exfoliator. Still not convinced that there is not something wrong with my product, but it is delivering some hydration to the skin, but it is a very oily and very greasy hydration, and I'm not exactly sure why it feels granule. When I expected a balm, I expected it to be very rich, very nourishing. I can't find anything on the website that showed that this product is granule, but maybe that's just how it is. It does deliver some hydration, but it just feels bumpy when I put it on the skin. Not exactly sure if that's supposed to happen, but it's just what I'm noticing. I have only been using it on this area right here because it's all that's been dry. I also go in with this as the very last step of my skincare routine at night. Like I said, this product is very greasy and I feel like if I were to use it during the day it would just look ridiculous because it is very noticeably oily and especially if you have oily skin I really wouldn't recommend this product. When it comes out it is this very thick consistency. Now I know you're not able to see but it is granule. I don't know if you can tell there but it is like, it feels like it's exfoliating my skin. It feels like a scrub because it leaves some granule particles whenever I've even rubbed it in. I don't know if you can tell, but look how greasy my fingers look. There is definitely some granule to that. It's the weirdest thing, but it, it, it is not a rich balm whatsoever. It's more of an oil-like product, which I do not really enjoy. I just take a little amount like that, and I've just been putting it on this area, just because I feel like it would be too much for the rest of my skin. It's so shiny and so greasy and I've only been using it right here. If you do use it all over your face or on your body, you're definitely gonna go through this product very fast. It's not a very big product. Whenever I'm using my phone after applying this product, it gets all over my phone. If I am to touch this area, it gets all over my phone. So greasy and honestly, I don't enjoy the feel of this product. I'm gonna continue using it and just seeing if anything changes, but right now I'm just not not the biggest fan of this product, but I will check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. So I never really figured out if this problem was just with my product or if it was with every product that was sent out, if this is just how this product performs, but this product is 
a little bit granule and I don't understand why. It feels like it has little beads to it whenever I do use it on my skin and it transfers and it is a very greasy product from at least my experience. Like I said, not sure if that's just my personal experience with it or if that's just how this product is. It is so greasy and heavy on the skin. I could not imagine wearing this on my entire face. If you are looking for a great balm that's around the same price point, the Naturium Marshmallow Root Barrier Balm is one of my favorites. I am actually using it right now. I use it on places whenever I need it and it works perfect. It's not greasy whatsoever. I cannot figure out this product because I read some reviews online and people were saying it was not greasy. People were saying that it was very hydrating, which no doubt this product is hydrating, but it comes at the expense of a very greasy feel to the skin. I just really would not recommend this product from my personal experience with it. I'm not sure if the granule texture is supposed to be there or if that's just how this product naturally is. I love so many products from Coco Kind and I'm really disappointed that I didn't like this one, especially because I like the Ceramide Recovery Serum and so it's a little bit disappointing that I didn't like the balm as well. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.